Ted Pilot Hill. Back again. Before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. And if you wanna learn how you can make money, save money, or build generational wealth, link in the description. You can either go to the website or contact me, schedule an appointment for Zoom, and we can get straight to all that. Um, yeah. What I feel do this video right here is me reacting to Jack TV. This somebody I just started watching Jack TV. Funny guy. Well, not really funny guy, but a great uh, producer of his own show, Jack TV. So basically, he goes around and help people do loyalty tests. He do loyalty tests amongst couples. But y'all, y'all about to see how this thing goes down. It's very interesting. Um, I don't watch a bunch of them already, but blind reaction to this one because I haven't seen this one yet. Let's get it. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. Trey wants to put his girlfriend Jelly to the loyalty test to see if she was truly loyal to him or not. So you guys, here's the thing. Trey and Jelly actually met on a dating show called Matt, and that is how they actually met each other, and that is how they actually got together. It sounds like you got trust issues. That's the biggest reason why I'm saying because I got trust issues, and my trust issues get me in trouble. I feel like a lot of people, when they got trust issues, they assume a lot. When you assume a lot, you do shit that you don't mean, or you do shit off the impulse, you know something? But as time went on, Trey didn't think it was a good idea to actually jump back into a relationship right away because he had just got cheated on in his previous relationship. And now in his current relationship, Trey is claiming that Jelly is now showing those same signs. Hey. Yeah, so. That's the fuck, y'all. Yeah, so what you doing? Oh, shit. Um, I'm just trying to find out what the fuck is you doing, bro? Bro, what is you doing? You're like a big-ass muscle body. Get the fuck out the door, man. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. I've seen that episode. <laughs> he said, what the, fuck, what the fuck is he doing in his car looking like a big ass mustard bottle? That's me, man. TV. Bria wanted to put up word from Danny to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. Basically, I put him up to this test because his whole vibe just changed. He started acting different. Mm. I caught him a couple lies. His phone would be ringing and I'd stop in the middle of the night. He'd say he's going to work, but yet he'd come oh. the next day. Yeah. So you guys, for today's test, we had a lot to work with. Thanks to Britt, we knew that Daddy's birthday was in two days. So I thought it would be a good idea to use that to our advantage. We knew we helped Britt come up with a gift to give Danny as an early birthday gift. It wouldn't raise any suspicion. So that's exactly how we engaged our test. We rented out an entire spa facility to see if Britt's boyfriend Danny was truly loyal to her or not. We hired our good friend Nancy to pretend to be the receptionist and work the front desk so she can get some instruction on where to go. And our friend Nancy to play the decoy. Now what Danny doesn't know, while Fancy is giving him the massage of his life, the whole team in Brit will be right down the hall in the green room, set up as our command center, watching the entire thing from a live feed we set up. So, how long have been? I'm gonna be honest with you. Me, I don't think I get caught up on no loyalty test simply because, for one, I'm loyal. That's the first thing. But number two, the type of relationship me and my girl got. I'm comfortable enough with, like, I'm comfortable enough to literally go to her and ask her for her opinion or ask her how she feel or if she cares or whatever it is. If it's something that I just feel like I just gotta want to do. But if I talk to her and her mood ain't telling me that she cool with it, then I'm just go, I just won't, I have to go with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what people don't understand. That's what, that's what, that's what it's about when you're in a relationship. The times where... If you were single, you would be able to do it, but you can't because you're in a relationship and your partner don't want you to do it. That's when that's when it shows, like that's when the love shows. And as long as I can get that reciprocated, I'm cool with it, what she does. So it's not, it's never like for instance, there's never been a time where I told her I don't want you talking to them no more, and she had a, a issue with doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why should I have an issue with doing it? You get what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't know. Let's just see, man. I told my girl, me and her need to start doing loyalty tests 
on people in our city because I know it's a lot of motherfuckers out this bitch just loyal. The only thing is when it comes to a loyalty test with people here, we'll probably use people that they probably other people they probably know. People that they more likely to cheat with for the most part. But we all know everybody gonna go everybody gonna go for money. That's just one of them things most people going for. But you have you ever just really just caught any Caught him doing anything with another female. No, and that's why I didn't want to just jump to conclusion without she any receipts fuck. or any proofs. She looks familiar, like, too. Do this, and if he passed, he would probably wouldn't even know nothing about it. But I don't even want to just jump on him and not knowing if that's what it really is. Okay, so if he do pass, you wouldn't want me to post it? No. So if you don't want to post a pass, if he failed, you would want me to post it? If he failed, I want you to post it because... So why wouldn't you want me to post him passing? Because... Uh, I mean, it's just gonna be like, I, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna feel stupid because it's like, damn, I really thought that. So you guys, I'm starting right. to notice a pattern. I've had three couples who actually passed the loyalty test but did not want to post their video because they did not know how their significant other will react to them not trusting them. Okay. But if he failed, it's like, you post all this online, you publicly post me, you love me, this and that, you can post all that publicly, so you can post how you, you know, you're fucking up beyond doors. Okay. I get where she coming from, and most people feel like that. They they like well, if they if they not guilty, then I don't want to put out the fact that I was even investigating because now they feel dumb, you know, for investigating. But it's like, yeah, in some cases you should, but um, I get it. I wouldn't tell them either. If I did a loyalty test on my girl and she passed it, I wouldn't tell her about it. I feel like it wouldn't be no need to because telling them about it, I feel like that's what's gonna cause problems if it ain't no problems. You know what I'm saying? So it's smart not to like tell the person. Now if they fail, expose it. But if they don't, don't say nothing. Just do something nice to let it be known that you appreciate them more. <laughs> Tight shit. So we had our camera set up. Everybody was mic'd up. At this point, we were just waiting on the to talk. Rise. What you talking so about, girl? Go ahead and call him to make sure that he was really on his yeah, way. Mama finna be home after a while. Show up early and nobody wasn't ready, or he was just a surprise yeah. to everyone. Just be smooth. Be here for the call. Yeah. 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 Hey, babe, what you doing? to be ready to start the test. All we are waiting on now is for him to be guided to the room where fans will be posing at his masseuse and the test will begin. This isn't the place, but we do need to talk. They will fight you. They will fight dirty. Is there any other way? This is a declaration of war. We're already at war. I wish I could see my baby over there. She just chilling, bro. Like she chilling so hard. <laughs> that shit cute. She literally just laying down, chilling, bro. Like ain't nothing. Okay, nice to meet you. Um, okay. So have you ever had a massage experience before? 
Do y'all feel like it's fair to put a person through a loyalty test on this level where it's like you letting him get massaged? You sending him to a massage parlor first of, first of all. And then on top of that, it's like you... It's a setup. I don't think it's fair when it's a setup. But I think the whole point is set up or not, you should be able to pass because you should be loyal, right? I don't know. Okay, I like this. Massage is different, bro. Like, like most dudes fantasize getting a massage in a massage parlor or a massage room and then getting the happy ending. You know what I'm saying? Most most men fantasize about some shit like that. I know I have before. Like, why wouldn't I want a happy ending after getting my whole body massaged? Like, come on, bro. That's all I'm saying. She look nice in that room. She doing too much. Nah, she gonna do her job for sure. Okay, and you never had a massage, so yo, you ain't got a woman, cause you ain't got a massage, so she ain't got a massage too. I thought the phone was, I thought the phone was ringing for real. My baby got a little telephone toy over there. What's up, mama? Oh, how often? You ready to sit back up now? You ready to sit back up? Huh? And only just a handful of times? Oh. Oh, she should be doing more than three to four or five times, whatever you said. She should. She had to tell me. She's doing her job, doing the best she can to pull the answers out. Don't take nothing personal that she said. Like, you can't take it personal, man. He got professional actors, man. I want to be one of the actors. I ain't gonna lie. He he did say you can apply to be one of the actors. Too. I would I would love to be one of the actors. I man I what? Look at him. You feel me? Hey. Uh yes. What's up? Damn, we do the same thing. I'm doing the same thing you doing. We doing the same thing, bro. Why you be copying me? You sleep like me and everything. She said he is lying. Yes, all the time. All the time. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. It's just like other things that I can do too. I think in your package I saw that you're getting the jacuzzi. Yes. So, I mean, what do you think about me coming to the jacuzzi? Oh, okay. Just making sure you got no crazy girlfriend that's going to come up here and act crazy on me. Oh, okay. Well, she's not going to know about us getting that together. I hope it's not a situation in where he blames you. You know what I mean? That we probably going to try to do. I mean, I can. But if we do, but if we do. Are you okay with that if something else happens? I mean, how about we go over there now and I'll just show you? Yes. What do you think? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Although Danny just agreed to get in the hot tub with our decoy fancy, he has not yet failed this test. At this point, all he's really done was get a massage. Fancy mentioned joining him in the jacuzzi in a flirty way, but Danny maybe could have interpreted that in a non-flirty way. Which is why phase two of this test will take place in the jacuzzi, where Fancy will turn it up a notch and ask Danny to go back to her crib. Okay, that's so, how you feel about him actually about to go get in the jacuzzi? He ain't know he ain't coming for me, so I'm confused. And now he finna fold. He finna fold, nah. He finna fold. I told you that already, though. 
So how you liking it so far? How you liking it so far? You like it? What? Is it really hot? At the end of the day, you know what you should and should not do. So. Exactly. It feel real good. I come sit by you? You don't mind, huh? Okay. I mean... He gonna grab that ass. He look like he look like he look like the ass grabbing type. Goddamn, he gonna grab that ass. Nobody else coming in here but us. You better believe. It. Right. I okay. I know. <laughs> Look at Jack. <laughs> Jack don't make this shit no better. His girl, man, his girl fine too though. God damn. Just sit it on. Nah. How much time you got to spare after this? Is that an automatic fill for you? Yes. Oh, she said it's an automatic fill. Policy, but it'll be okay. She said it's just our privacy. I'm gonna go home and have a few drinks after this. You wanna come? No. You can just come have one little drink. Don't be like that. It's one little drink. It's one little drink. One little drink, okay? It's one little drink. We can do it after this. <laughs> I could probably okay. find another okay. time. Keep massaging me. Don't stop massaging me. I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. I know that. I know, and you are too. That's why we need to make something happen. You okay with making something happen? I mean, <laughs> well, we going to go to my house after this. I don't stay too far. We're going to have a few drinks and we'll see what happens, okay? Uh huh, but I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. I mean, at any given time that you want to go in. We, we can go in. We can, they we can finna go in, in. It's up to you, though. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the things tonight when we go to my house, okay? Some shit you ain't never seen before. You can come out tomorrow, right? Okay. I'm going to see you for a little wild night, baby. He already failed it. Like, it's no, it's no conviction. He failed it. He ain't failed. Okay, so okay, Britt didn't want this to go on any longer. The main goal was to see if he would agree to go back to Fancy House, in which he did. Coming in the... I think that you should go as far as to see if he go. I think because he could leave there. Because I'm going to put it to you like this. I would have just waited. I'm going to tell you why. Look at it like this. The reason why you don't say nothing on, on this particular time. Because he talked about doing that another time. But once you get back around him. And you know he going to be... I know personally when I'm around beautiful women and then I end up back around my girl, it just make me want my girl more. Like, come sit on my face straight up because I done been around all these other fine bitches, but I don't fuck with none of them fine bitches. You the one that I like, that I like, to, you know what I'm saying? So when I, when I come from being around beautiful women and I get around my women, I'm ready to put it on her. Just off the rip because I done been, you know what I'm saying? The build up. Um, I think she should have waited to that to see how that goes after the fact and, see, and then see if he hit her up after the fact, after the fact. But I don't know, man. That's my and opinion. In the comments, if you consider this a fail in your book, in Brit's eyes, he completely failed. And now she gets her chance to confront like, Danny. <laughs> Hello. Uh -oh. What you talking about, girl? Huh? What you talking about? Mamacita. Mamacita señorita. Mamacita señorita. Red eyes, he completely failed. And now she gets her chance to confront Danny.
told you. <laughs> she knew you was gonna say it. She did, so I don't want no technically. You know what I'm saying? The setup is the setup. You understand? And that was definitely a setup. Got set up. Definitely. Uh, you you set yourself up. You knew I was going to You came here for one thing. One thing. You came here for like one thing. I came to get a massage. A massage. That's more than a massage. He was in the hot tub. I got my massage. We got in the hot tub. Okay, boy. You came here for one thing. Okay, so how to go from the hot tub. Massage to the hot tub. Man. They ain't talking about yo. Y'all give you massages and all that. What's up with that? What's up with that? Since when I don't give you massages. Why you got all the fucking cameras pulling up? I was actually trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I was hoping. That shit, that shit is dead. Yeah, my ass. You got to do that fucking gun. You got to do that 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 gun. She got a point though, dog, cause he, like he is easily persuaded, but I don't see him leaving his girl for another person. He probably fuck a bad bitch, keep that one to himself or something like that. But either way it go, man. If you say you gonna be monogamous, man, that's what you gotta do. So for y'all niggas that always go into the relationship claiming y'all finna be monogamous, that's where y'all fuck up at. I tell my girl straight up, I'm pilot. Now if I ever just end up being monogamous then that's good but right now as the person that i am i know that ain't ain't that ain't it not for me right now even though i'm very picky but just to say confusion say feelings for me i heard just if you got any shadow of a doubt that you gonna want to smash anything else outside of the girl that you claim to love and shit just let that shit be known so people folks won't get hurt it's tip politics if you need financial advice about financial services or anything like that on how to save money make money and build generational wealth get at me all the links is in the description and we out man <laughs>